What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology and today we are going to discuss the most awaited transit of this year after the Jupiter transit of course. Which transit am I talking about? Yes, I am talking about Rahu and Ketu's transit from Leo and Aquarius to Cancer and Capricorn. Okay. So Rahu has been in the sign of Leo from last 18 months from January of 2016 and Ketu also was in Aquarius and during this time you can see the disruption of the world order. We, we have seen events in the areas of government which is represented by Leo by Rahu's presence in it like the Brexit okay, and different people like Donald Trump coming into the domain of US presidency okay therefore now after 18 months of sitting in the throne and delighting and enjoying and creating disruption in the governments Rahu is finally going into the sign of cancer which is the sign of emotions love compassion okay happiness peace satisfaction and mother yes cancer represents all these signs uh, traits so simultaneously ketu is going into the sign of capricorn what is capricorn capricorn represents our duty our structure our commitment our work ethics our ability to put hard work it is the own sign of Saturn so it represents all those traits of Saturn which are required in any work field okay because Capricorn is the 10th house of work okay and Rahu is the fourth house of inner chambers so now what happens when Rahu Ketu transits into the signs of Cam Cancer and Capricorn respectively well you can expect some emotional outbursts during this 18 months okay and you will start feeling this as soon as Rahu enters Capricorn okay uh, enters Cancer and as soon as Ketu enters Capricorn so what will happen is people will now gravitate towards doing things which give them happiness internally okay overall in life this is not with your career or your relationships okay and people will try to see things in a very emotional perspective okay and areas where we are already having our discipline commitment duty structure organization those areas will go on an introspection of should we actually be committed to those areas if it is not giving us happiness okay this can come true with any aspect of your life especially wherever capricorn and cancer is falling okay so it is very important that we scrutinizingly analyze these transits okay so transits are very simple just see where the sign of cancer which is number four and capricorn which is number 10 is falling in your birth chart okay from the ascendant from the first house and then depending on those you will feel the effects of the transits okay so now what will happen is if something is not giving people happiness satisfaction content okay inner peace and they are just ragging like a robot somewhere or in some relationship or in some place or with some people or with our career we will say no that's it I'm not going to do this anymore okay of course this will depend on the placement of other planets and what dashas you are running okay and this will also be combined with the Jupiter transit okay in Libra which I discussed in my earlier video so if you have not watched them please go and watch them and before beginning about the 12 signs God is there with you all the time he was also there when Rahu was in Leo and now he is also going to be there with you when Rahu transits cancer okay so if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and you can click in the notifications bell to get the emails when I upload videos okay Finally, 
starting with the 12 assignments, okay? Rahu Ketu are always seven houses apart. So one house represents our obsessions, which is Rahu. And the other house represents those things which we need to let go of. Yes, where Ketu is sitting. That means that uh, there can be some things in life which we will be obsessed and there will be some other, other things which we have to let go in life. Yes, that's what is the meaning of Rahu Ketu axis. Okay. So, for each ascendant, this will play a different role depending on which house this axis is falling. Okay. So, let us start with whom? Let us start with Cancer Ascendants. Okay. So, for Cancer Ascendants, Rahu will transit your Lagna, the house of name and fame. Okay. Great time for you to bring transformation into your life. Okay. Your entire life will be transformed during this time, especially wherever Rahu Ketu transits the first house or the seventh house okay this will bring major transformation in your life okay what will happen during this time everything in this world you will perceive emotionally whatever things you do will be governed by emotions on or by your inner likings and your dislikes and you will only listen to yourself you will only do what you want because Ketu is in the seventh house of other people. You will say that I don't care what others think of me. Ketu is that energy which says everybody just get lost. <laughs> and whatever things other people were forcing you to do, wherever they were forcing you to put your duty and commitment and structure into, if that is not giving you fulfillment, you will say bye bye. I don't want it. Okay. Some other day. <laughs> And finally, for Leo Ascendants, now Rahu will transit your 12th house. What is 12th house? 12th house is foreign lands, monasteries, temples, spirituality. And 6th house is your current work and discipline. Okay. Hard work basically. So now, Leo Ascendants, he, uh, Rahu was in your first house. Okay. For one and a half years. And Rahu said, now I will show myself to the world. Okay. But now Rahu will go to the 12th house in Cancer because Rahu Ketu always goes retrograde. So instead of going to your second house in Virgo, Rahu will now go to your 12th house okay, in the sign of Cancer. And now you will feel this need to go to places where you can find yourself because 12th house is the house of your subconscious mind including the 3rd house. 12th house is more of what you become ultimately, okay? Your final destination. And you will want to stay alone. You will want to stay secluded this time, okay? You will want to be as if I want some time out for myself. Enough of showing myself to the world. You will want to retreat, okay? Because whatever work you will do, Ketu is sitting there in the 6th house. Ketu will say, enough of the hard work. Now just focus on yourself, on understanding who you are inside internally as a person okay ketu will tell you uh, that now you have to focus on the matters of the 12th house of spirituality instead of focusing on the 6th house of job money daily routine schedules etc okay then for the virgo ascendants rahu will transit your 11th house so you will meet a lot of friends who will come and go by in this 18 months okay and they can have a foreign origin and you will have a lot of emotional interactions with people okay because it is cancer okay you will try to find love through your friends and Ketu is in the fifth house of principles and your own thoughts etc okay your own creativity so this 18 months you will be like okay I am myself I have been myself a long time now let me see what my friends have to say okay you will be like let me go out there and socialize okay let me go out there and enjoy, have fun with people, okay? And you will meet people who are from a different caste, creed, community, religion or foreign origin basically. And then Libra Ascendants, Rahu will transit your 10th house which is fabulous, okay? For your career, work and raise in status, name, fame, etc. And then Ketu will be in your 4th house of mother, homeland. So it can also show that for a new job opportunity or gaining something in life, gaining something big, 
you might have to let go of certain attachments which you have internally in your heart okay or you might have to shift your homeland you might have to go to a new place okay that's what Ketu also does in the fourth house okay and some thing related to your home you might want to say as if oh that's it i don't want to do this anymore i will do this later on okay now i will focus on my career now rahu here becomes very much obsessed about the 10th house because it's the house of status name thing you will try to find emotional happiness contentment through the matters of the 10th house you will feel as if if you get a job a new job or a promotion you will feel very much satisfied internally very much contented that will be an inner satisfaction because the sign of cancer falls in your 10th house okay and you will let go of all the things that you were having in your fourth house okay the areas of discipline etc which you made to give yourself happiness now you will let go of all those things okay so libra ascendance this is a very powerful time utilize this 18 months and try for a race try for a job try for a promotion you will get it definitely i know the scorpio ascendants who have got last time okay now for scorpio ascendants rahu will transit your ninth house of spirituality god wisdom divinity and what is this going to do rahu is going to give you obsession towards all these things okay you can meet a guru in a foreign land or you can meet some foreign gurus okay maybe you can go to a yoga center if you're in america and you'll suddenly be exposed to a lady who is teaching you yoga yes your own tradition if you are an indian you will be exposed to a lady who is teaching you your own subject but in a foreign land okay and you will be obsessed towards learning the vedas the upanishads the puranas the, the gita the bible the quran whichever tradition you are you will want to gain information about that tradition but it will be in a bit unorthodox way because rahu is sitting there it is rahu right it is not jupiter okay <laughs> rahu is unorthodox rahu does not care for the traditions okay so at times you can also feel that oh should i change my religion <laughs> okay or should i change whatever my value system is my beliefs are about god spirituality etc and then ketu will be in your third house okay so this shows that your your detachment areas will be your self efforts you will feel that i have done enough myself now let me see what is there in spirituality now i have worked hard enough now let me see what god has to offer okay and you will become very much emotionally happy when you seek the matters of the ninth house so scorpio ascendance this is a great time start something new spiritually okay and then for Sagittarius ascendants, Rahu will move into the 8th house from your 9th house. So now is a time for major transformation in your life, okay? Major changes will come in your life, okay? Something hidden, something from the ground which you don't know, which you never expected can come. And now Rahu from the 9th house, after gaining wisdom, knowledge, maturity, higher wisdom, positivity, will go to the 8th house of sudden occurrences, occult, hidden mysteries, okay? And transformations so now Rahu will help you to utilize the power of the ninth house in the areas of the eighth house because ultimately you have to undergo transformation in life if you want to gain spiritual knowledge okay and you can also make some blunders related to speech or money so be careful when you invest or be careful with the sources where you are earning money because Ketu is in the second house okay and because of your blunders you might have to use the money of other people because eighth house is the second from the seventh house of other people so it can show that you might need to use other people's money because you did some blunder with your finances okay and then finally for capricorn ascendance rahu is transiting the seventh house of marriage so rahu will bring you a lot of foreign opportunities to get into relationships okay or you might marry somebody who is of a foreign origin okay or you might get into a relationship with somebody who is of a foreign origin okay and ketu is in the first house so 
this 18 months you will be like I have been myself enough now I want to focus on other people I just want to get into a relationship you might go, go, go and if you are a Hindu you might go and date somebody who is a Christian or who is from America or who is from Germany okay these dynamics will come and you will find a lot of emotional satisfaction you will be like yes I want this I want this girl I want that girl okay and they will be type they will be wrong type they will come they will disappear they will come they will go they will come they will go so be careful okay as much as this is good it can also make things go haywire because it is happening in the first seventh axis okay so precaution okay whenever you get into a new relationship take care okay make sure it's not like Rahu which is cloud today he is there tomorrow she is not there <laughs> okay otherwise you will get frustrated because it is the sign of cancer your emotions will be affected and they can be complete mayhem here okay so be careful Capricorn ascendance now for Aquarius ascendants Ra will transit your 6th house and Ketu will transit your 12th house okay this is also a very good time for spirituality or at the same time you will be obsessed about getting a new job doing things as per schedule because 6th house is the house of daily work okay now you will have this feeling that yes I need to work now I need to work I need to work okay and K2 will also give you introspection inside okay and tell you that whatever you learnt you have to now use it in your workplace okay because Rahu is in the sixth house and then for the next Pisces ascendance Rahu will transit your fifth house okay and K2 will transit your eleventh house okay so this is the time when you will aggressively pursue your creative interests okay and you will want to be yourself more than being in the 11th house of other people socializing okay you will feel as if I want to gain wisdom about myself because Rahu from the 5th will aspect the 9th house and the ascendant okay so you will want to know who you are internally as a person what you love doing okay see this is very powerful because uh, this is the fifth house of fifth house is the house of memory and uh, and intelligence knowledge etc you will want to gain knowledge about yourself and that will give you a lot of emotional fulfillment okay so Pisces ascendance this is a great time for you okay and be careful with other people 11th house okay be careful with your finances that's all I can say about K2 and then for Aries ascendance it is happening in your fourth house and tenth house what is fourth house? Fourth house is your homeland. So Rahu might take you to your homeland back. <laughs> Rahu is now telling you, you are focused on the career enough. Now you focus on the place where you live, okay? Because this is going to be also life changing for you. Like the Libra ascendance, okay? The work life balance can come here, the dynamics can come. And then you might feel that your workplace is not that enchanting anymore, okay? And due to some reason, uh, in due to some split in your workplace or due to some tragedy, you might have to go back to your homeland or to the place from where you belong. Okay, so that is going to be the norm for the Aries ascendants. Okay, and be careful with your bosses this time because Ketu is transiting your tenth house of your authority figures, etc. Okay, and then. For Taurus Ascendants, Rahu will transit the 3rd house and Ketu will transit the ninth house, okay? And that is why you will feel extremely courageous. Rahu's transit in 3rd, 6th, 10th and 11th is extremely powerful. So Taurus Ascendants, you will be like, yes, now is the time I want to prove myself. I will show to the world where. From there, Rahu aspects the 7th and the 11th house. So tremendous network circles and you will also at times withdraw to go to where you belong where is Ketu that is ninth house okay so you will want to get spiritual also at times okay but your primary focus will be I want to prove myself the house of courage where Mars is the significator of the third house okay and then for Gemini ascendance this is happening in your second house and eighth house Rahu is in the second house and Rahu is obsessed about money now <laughs> his own money because Ketu is in the 8th house 
you may lose support from people who are supporting you. Now, Rahu is telling you, no, I will not take support from others. Money of other people, which is 8th house, second from the 7th house. You will not take the money of in-laws, if you are taking. You will not take the money of your friends or your wife or your husband. You will be like, no, I want my own money. I will do, I will prove to the world that I can earn money. Okay. Or you might want stability in life now. Because eighth house is the house of instability. And second house is the house of stability. Because second house is Taurus. And eighth house is originally the house of Scorpio. Okay. So you might have this need that enough of courage now third house it was in Leo and now it, it will go to the second house so now you will feel as if okay I want to settle in my life I want to grow a new family okay and you will focus on your family more okay either family or money and you will find a lot of emotional connection with your family during this time Gemini ascendance okay so that's it from my side majorly majorly this video is to show that your work-life balance will be the focus because Cancer and Capricorn are 4th and 10th houses respectively. And if you want a personal reading or a consultation then please contact me in the phone number which is there or in my email or through Facebook. And always keep praying to God. This transit will be very important for the next 18 months and this will set ground for majority of life changing events that are destined to happen in your life okay so if you like this video then please click the like button and rate or you can comment on this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and click in the bell so that you get the notifications via email when i upload new videos and please share this video with your family, friends, okay, especially if you know somebody who is a Scorpio ascendant because their Rahu is transiting in the ninth house, okay, and they can likely see this video. <laughs> or if you find somebody who is a Pisces ascendant, Rahu is transiting in the fifth house, five, nine are both houses of religion, spirituality, occult sciences, etc. Or for a Sagittarius also, Rahu will transit again into the eighth house. So what they did not do in the earlier transit in Leo, they will start doing now. Okay, so that's it from my side. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, queries and comments, then let me know in the comment section. Until the August 17th when Rahu changes his sign from Leo to Cancer. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye. See you.